Welcome to day 20 of my A4 Advent Calendar. In this series of videos I show you in 24 days how to program A4 APIP microcontrollers. In my last video I've shown you how to use the AppMega 88 pa microcontroller in I2C master mode and today we will turn this little microcontroller into an I2C slave. So here is the setup I'm planning. So I will connect a 7 segment display to this microcontroller with an I2C read access I can read out the value of which is displayed here and with an I2C write access I can write um, I can write a new I can change the display variable and then it will display another thing. Okay? And here on the setup we don't have an I2C master here yet, but I have added these pull-up resistors for both I2C pins of my microcontroller here. And programming I2C master mode was quite complex, so I've used a library to speed everything up a little bit. And today I will use a library too, so here is the library I want to use. This is from the Groucher. <laughs> There's a very cool profile picture here. This is from the legendary uh, Simpson scene. Lisa needs braces. Tell plan. <laughs> so quite funny. And I will use this library for today's video. But not only because of the cool profile picture, even if, also because this is a quite cool or good library. Okay, so. Let's cd into my A4 Advanced Calendars folder. And as a template for today's video, I will use the seven segment display. Yeah, because here we already have the code for setting up a seven segment display. And I will call it 20 I2C slave. So let me cd into it. Okay. Then I will go to my temp folder and I will clone the GitHub repository. Okay, cloning is done, so let me go back. And now again I will create a new folder. I will call it two wire interface again, and in here I will copy all the library files I need. Uh, the library was called A4R I2C slave. Slave, yeah, and the files are called I2C, and I want to have them in my two wire interface folder. Okay, no match found. Interesting. Ah, okay. Yeah, here we here we go. And then I will also copy the license of this library into my two wire interface libraries folder, and I will add a readme. In this readme, I will um, tell you where I found this library and who owns the copyright to it. Slave library um, copyright the Groucher. Okay. And GitHub repo. So this is MIT license again, so this should be okay if I yeah. If I'm copying the license and if I name the one who created it, this should be okay. Okay, cool. And now let me open up the main file and change a little some things here. So, yeah, here on this picture you can see um, I've connected most of the pins to port B. Only this one here is connected to port D, pin 7. So I have to initialize these GPIOs. So let me do this. So here I only have 3F and then to Data and direction register D, I will set to one shifted by PD7. I don't need this pull up here. Okay, and here in the main function, let me delete every, the first 10 lines here. Okay, and segment values and 0, zero F because the last segment is displayed. Um, or, yeah, we need to write to part D to display this. So if the value and one shifted by six is greater than zero, in this case port D or equal one shifted by PD7 and here port D before 
I have to clear it first, so let me do the clearing. One shifted by PD7. Okay, cool. So this is the code for displaying it. And instead of counter, I want to call my variable here display. And I have to um, define this variable. I will do this as a global variable because we have to use some callback functions and the variable has to be available there and let's say this initially to 4. Okay, then I will define our i square c address and I will set it to 11. Cool. And now let me open the um, header file here. So first, of course, I have to include this. So let me include it. Um, I score C slave dot H. Okay. So first we have to do a call this init function and we have to pass our address. So let's do this down here. Init I score C slave. Therefore I will call I score C init and I will pass the address. I square C uh, address. Okay. I square C. Oh, here I've typed a, a lowercase c, but it should have been an uppercase, so now it should be able to find it. Yeah, here we go. Sorry. Okay. Good. Then we have to set some callback functions. This first callback function is called when we re receive new data and the second one is called when there is a write access and it demands new data. So we have to add the callback functions. Um, so void callback receive and here the argument here is the receive data and this is quite simple. We just um, update our data variable to the new receive data and I will end it with 15 so it has all, only the range of 0 to up to 15 and that's it. And now let's add a callback for um, request. So if we have to write out data to the bus, and in this case I will use the function i square c transmit byte and I will just um, I will just transmit the display variable here. So let me add some comments here. Brief function is called on i square c rewrite. And the other function here is called on i square c read from the master. Okay, and that should be about it. I can delete these variables as we don't need them. And I have to set the callbacks. This I had forgotten. The first one is the callback receive. The second one is the callback request. Okay. Yes, this looks good. This looks also good. Okay. So now let me um, change the make file and let's try to compile it. So, okay, I have to change the frequency here, even if I don't need it really. And then I will add two wire interface, i square c slave.c and let's call this i square c slave and I have to add a new variable I will call include and here I said I want to include the folder to wire interface I want to add this to my includes path and I will add the variable here okay so that's it let me try to compile it yep I have made a typo here all back yeah, oh, here I have set callbacks, and this is callback, receive, okay. Let's build it again, now it works. So now let me flash it to the target. Yep, and now it's called i square c slave dot hex. Let's flash it. Okay, flashing works, we have written it, and now this device is acting as an i square c slave. Okay, cool, so I guess that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed the video and learned something and I also hope I will see you tomorrow. Bye!